Let's play Uncle Pooh. <laughs> Once in a while, a game will come around where you know you just have to check it out. And when I say comes around, I mean not that this game ever showed up anywhere in my life, in my world, ever. But thanks to the world of emulation, Uncle Pooh, and by the way, I've been emulating for it since 98, 96, I don't know, so a long time. I have never found this game until about six months ago. I found Uncle Pooh, and it showed up in a list of maze games in LaunchBox. So, I've ignored it for years, but today I'm going to play it, and I'm going to beat my Uncle Pooh high score. So what is Uncle Pooh? Well, Uncle Pooh is a scrolling maze... Tutankhamon type of game, way easier and not as exciting in audio terms or even in graphics terms, but game mechanics and gameplay, kind of fun. It's a reverse situation. You don't face your enemy to fire. You put your butt toward them and you fire away. You have two buttons. One of them is going to be your poot button where you're going to fart on them or I'm assuming it's a fart, not a poop. And then you're going to have a fast button. And if you use the fast button, your power goes down. It's interesting. We have this power meter. It's not a meter, but it's a number. It's at 30. Now it's at 35 here in the demo. Um, he just put a little poo there. He's using the fast button and he's chewing up his power. Here's the deal, though. Every time you poot, you lose power. And so you can see he's losing power for every poot that he does. Now he's dead. So you got to watch how many times you poot because you're going to need to have some poot power <laughs> in order to maneuver yourself around this maze game. It just sounds like a whole bucket of butthole fun, doesn't it? Pun intended. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to play this game and I'm going to show you how much fun it is. Uncle Pooh, by the way, reminds me of an uncle that I have named Uncle Joe. Um, around winter time, Joe grows his beard out and it kind of looks really long, like a Santa Claus beard. There's hardly any information about this game, by the way, in all of video arcade history, it seems. I am so curious. I know some, a lot of people have found this in emulation, but I'm so curious if anybody genuinely, not speculative, but genuinely knows if there was a machine that they seen and or played or had the circuit board for this thing and how did they get it and what was the origin story of it? Was was it a Japanese game? Because it, it looks to me like it could be kind of Japanese with some of the little like the animals that you're, you know, in the maze with. But I really don't feel like it is. I feel like it's very much, it could be very much American or it could be anything for that matter. Anyway, let me know, but I'm going to start in right now. And we're going to play the legendary Uncle Pooh. Let's Uncle Pooh, it says. I love it. Notice my power's at 14. I'm dropping the maze. A couple dudes fall out. Moving real slow. Boom. I stick my butt to them, and I fire away. Now, here's the, here's the unique thing for me. Um, you don't want to miss too many shots because your power can go down. My power's up. 22. So let's see, does killing an enemy do it? I know getting treasure does it. So let's see. Oh, missed him. I killed him. Fast button, if I try it now, can I get the diamond? No, I'm going to lose it. Bummer. Shouldn't have even went for it. Getting bags of money are important because they unlock doors, and if you don't unlock the door, then you might waste a lot of your power Putin as in poo pooing on your enemy or poo pooing on these little like blockades to get in there big diamond big points 2500 now what you'll see about it in this maze like, like I asked that question when do you get done well if I get this diamond right here I finish my round so this is the first time I'm going to try to not get the diamond and I'm going to instead leave that diamond and I'm going to maybe I'll get that one be 
because I feel like the, the levels level three is kind of tough. We gotta move quickly here. Yeah, I almost got caught up in I guess the the water. It's just water, right? Uh, I'm gonna lose I'm gonna lose some poop power here. Wasting it on st stupid things like these blocks. But you only have to have ooh, it's getting kind of thick in the in the thick of it here. Thousand bucks for killing that dude. Unless you really only need one pathway. Okay, so my feelings here are I probably need to get this diamond now. Because if I don't, it's just going to get more blockaded up. You know what I mean? So, cool. It says perfection. I have no idea what that means. I, think, I guess that means I get every treasure. First time I've ever gotten a perfection. Okay, we're on to the next level. Power at 30. Round two. So let's see what's what now. Still not too difficult. I feel like my Uncle Pooh is moving a little quicker. Um, Got to make some good decisions on the maze because you can get kind of trapped up in here. Cool. That was smart, I think. Just clearing out enough of the maze to get what you need to get. Bad guys appear to be worth more as time goes along uh, in your round. Oh, I got him. I thought he got me. Um, another observation is just the way these little bad guys come out, it almost feels like Tutankhamun. It's almost like those are little spawning areas that really kind of feel like that. I don't think I'm going to get that diamond or this one again. Now he's moving along. Another point there is if the area is a little wide, um, it's possible that they can miss your poo. I feel like that's the last diamond again. I don't know if it is or not. Should I go for it? Yeah, I'm just not going to because I feel like it's not the last diamond. Got him. Boom, boom. Get down here and get this. Yeah, good deal. And that's like, a, what is he, like a little gopher or something? I think so. Don't want to lose too much power here, you know? Okay, I want that diamond there. Can I get it? It's gonna be, I'm going to have to hustle here. Come on, dude. Bingo, got it. Was it worth a lot? Oh, get out of here. That was actually a little, like, intense. Dude, this guy, this gopher guy is killing me. Come on. I'm going to miss that diamond again. Yeah, I may have screwed up here by not just nailing that diamond up there. I don't know if it's if it looks any different. I really don't feel like it does. It's moving along pretty quick now. Probably just should have got that diamond. For some reason, that diamond in the up part is the one that ends the round. And I'm trying to milk the round for all it's worth, I guess. So it looks like a repeat. Come on, poo poo man. Um, but joystick controls, I mean, all the controls are pretty good on this game. I feel like uh, it moves around easy, fairly easy. And uh, I enjoy it. I actually enjoy Opu. Poo Poo's fun. And his farts ricocheted. <laughs> kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? Come on, dude. See what I mean by like sneaking around and getting close to you but not quite there? Um, so there's the diamond I think that I need to end the round. So let's just go for it. I don't want to screw around too much longer. Because I want to show you the next part. Oh, it didn't end. Well, I'll be. Looks like I've got to play harder. Yeah, I was counting on that to take those barricades away. Strategy-wise, what do you do? I, I don't know. You kind of got to remember the maze. Um, watch out for the baddies because they will speed up rather quickly. Best route here is to go like this. I think. Get over here. Oh, geez. Do I want to go through all of that mess? No, I don't. Man, that's that's brutal. Dude, seriously. What kind of drugs are you under? Move that fast. I got my highest score. But I really want to get to the challenge level to show you. Because I've done that once. So let's see if I can figure out how to do that quickly. I'm going to focus on treasures. I'm going to build my treasures up in... 
poo land here. There we go. Diamond. Probably not using my fast button quite enough. Because it seems like that's the thing that unlocks. Here we go. Gotta use it now. Hurry. Okay, still on level. Poop on this guy. Man. Lots of money bags here. This should be it, right? Yes. Okay. So, good. Now, pretend you're in Galaga, but you're facing the opposite direction to shoot anything, and you don't get to move. Literally, all you're doing is pointing your butt in an area, and you're farting. Uh, see, I've already blown it. Hit something. Ah, oh, you guys. So I didn't know what they were going to do. Ah, oh, see, I thought they were going the other way. Gosh, got him now. I got him now. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes. And that's it. I got four hits. 800 points. That's it. So I gotta say, we went through two rounds, and then we had a challenge round. And the challenge round was absolutely difficult. You want to go right. You're thinking of a ship that's shooting or something. You're wanting to point in that direction. You gotta think opposite. Crazy. Crazy. All right, diving in. Okay, sorry. I was, I was uh, actually focused on something completely different. Dang it. I literally was distracted. I shouldn't have unpaused the game at that moment. Okay, game on. I'm farting on your faces, dudes. Now, this little guy looks like, what, a caterpillar with a hat? Kind of neat. I have no idea how difficult... Ooh, this is kind of difficult with the diagonal, so I have to admit this is a little tough. On the guy that's keyboard challenged. Oh, that's a dead end. It gave me a little downward area to go to bend over and take a poo. That diamond looks like it's going to be tough to get to. Oh, shoot. Okay, down, back up. So you can see where you can get into trouble here, especially with these uh, diagonals. Man, how can I... Uh, that's just too tough to get, that diamond. Oh, and now I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm screwed. Game is tough. This is tough. I guess you would need to memorize the maze because these diagonals are just going to wipe you out. Oh, but now look. No more diagonals, right? Or, or did I pass it? No, it's coming up. So the thing to do is to get everything. I'm getting the impression that you need to get every money bag, everything. And I need to get that diamond no matter what. Oh, that didn't do anything for me, though. Come on, dude. Let the gas out. Money bag. Oh, jeez. Dead end. Feels like King Tut. Really, this, this game feels like it might have been inspired by Tutankhamon. Terrible sound, dude. Well, that was terrible. Tutankhamon. That's what I'm feeling like when I play this game. Um, but right now I'm feeling like putting up real initials because I feel like I got a real score for Uncle Pooh. So, how's your Uncle Pooh scores? Do share. You just got to play Uncle Pooh. Everybody loves Uncle Pooh. I'll do a two-player game with you on Pooh. Uh, we'll go one-on-one -on, -one on Uncle Pooh. If I could do it online, we would do some online Pooh together. You name it. Everybody loves Pooh. The kids love Pooh. My wife loves Pooh. <laughs> I'll play Pooh in the morning. I'll play with Pooh in the evening. <laughs> All right. That's it. I got to play some more Pooh.